When I talked all that shit, I had not been in the ring with you. And God damn it, Teddy, you are really fucking good. My wife, my family, my love, my legacy. You guys work your asses off. Everybody in here has got to earn a dollar. You each have a job, a family, responsibilities, a lot of shit to do. You decided to make not only me, but a lot of guys in the back. Hardworking young guys, ex WWE superstars, guys that run Lucha Underground, guys that travel all over the world and feel special that we laced up our boots. We took professional wrestling seriously as a job because you guys made us important and you gave me a thing called purpose. I've heard that this group of fans was one of the greatest group of fans on the planet. Four or five hundred people that understand their job as a fan is to give me the lifeblood, do your energy, your smile for your class, to get up off my ass and kill myself for your smile. You guys gave me a life and a purpose, and a bunch of other guys in the back, a measuring stick. But you, my friend, I guarantee I made relations. One of the hardest working guys in the Indies. Two other guys, JG Dunn, Joey Janela. And the promoter, guys, standing right back here, who had a vision. He built this thing for a lot of us. Had the balls to spend huge money on a big roster of guys because he knew you guys would come and cheer your asses off and give us everything you got. That's the trade. You give, we give back. We built this country together. There's a thousand people in this state that need to hear the truth. You came here and you want to satisfy. You got to raise more. You got to see God through that wrestling. There's a lot of talented guys in the background, Randy. I believe I've done my job making these people understand why I call myself the past, present, and future of professional wrestling. And I have a lot of respect for any guy in the back that's got the balls to come out here and challenge me. I just got in the ring with Teddy Hart. Teddy fucking Hart. The legend. He's been everywhere that I've ever wanted to be. He's done it all. Now, if I get into the ring with Teddy Hart again, that means that I get to go wherever I want. If I beat Teddy Hart, that'll take me to the top. That'll take me to the top of Limitless Wrestling instantly. I'll be better than Ace Romero. I'll be higher than JT Dunn, Anthony Green. If I beat Teddy Hart, that is the start of Josh Briggs. chase but yeah it cost me um, seven and a half months of my life uh, I was facing seven to ten years in jail for assault on a handicap and a DUI under the arc of a weather stained boards ancient goblins and warlords down underground on a vacancy the smell of death is all around in the night when the cold wind blows No one cares and nobody knows I'm sitting in a jail cell waiting for 
these fans to see their faces, to hear that fucking noise, that adrenaline. May 11th, I finally get the Teddy Hart monkey off my back. It's been a long time coming. Since September, things have changed. Bookings got switched. Things happened. But finally, I get to be in that ring with Teddy Hart. Josh Briggs has taken a shot. As Ric Flair said, to beat the man, you gotta be the man, or is it to be the man, you gotta beat the man? And Josh Briggs, you couldn't put me away tonight. Win, lose, or draw, May 11th, Portland, Maine. In the main, Josh Briggs, one of the most talented professional wrestlers I've ever seen. I go out there and try to kill myself for your fans, Randy, because you brought me in when no one else had faith in me. My name's been, uh, We'll say, in the mud. I've worked very hard to bring myself back to be the most booked guy in independent wrestling. Besides Joey Janela, Pentagon, and Phoenix, I don't think you can find another guy who can travel as much as I have. We just wrestled in a six-man tag. And for the most part, I was gunning for Teddy Hart. I gave him every single move that I could that I know will beat him on what he can be. Teddy's not in normal. Teddy's fucking crazy. Teddy, I don't like you.